Thank you for calling Heaven Call Center. This is Agent Gabe speaking. Can I help you? I've received several calls and a couple of texts asking me to call back urgently. Your name is, and forgive me if I pronounce it wrongly, but uh, Sasha Mamdomo Naumbenye, is that correct? Yeah, but you can just call me Mdosh. All right, Mdosh. We've received numerous complaints from the saints regarding a vice that is deeply entrenched in you. Complaints about what? To cut it short, Mdosh, word out there is that you're a serial gossiper offender. I am very many things, but not a gossiper. On the contrary, it is said that you have joined the LUPFH Society. Which stands for? Let us pray for him or her society. A juicy phrase used for starting a gossip conversation. Those are just allegations. You can treat them with contempt. One month ago, you were privy to Mr. Madeni's heavy bank debt and possible auctioning of his house. After the midweek prayer meeting, you assembled a few members and you told them what? Let's pray for Mr. Madeni. Two weeks ago, Mrs. Kusleki's daughter was kicked out of the fifth school in less than four months due to gross misconduct and you took a group of believers to a corner of the church complex and told them let's pray for mrs kusleki mr and mrs blankshots came in the hospital you work as to visit a fertility expert you somehow got access to their records and during visitation of one of the church members you stood up with a prayer request asking let's pray for the blank family now my question is this have you prayed for them? Well, I haven't. Doesn't that make you a serial gossiper using prayer as a gossip? I was just sensitizing the members. At the expense of assassinating their character. Needless to remind you, according to the Holy Code of Ethics, found in your manual of Proverbs, the 16th chapter, right there on the 28th line, and I quote, A perverse person stirs up conflict, and a gossiper separates close friends. What shall I do now? I am glad that you asked that, Mrs. Mdosh. First and foremost, accept that you have a weakness of gossip and stop it pronto. Think about your personal affairs being out there in the public domain. How will that make you feel? Terrible. Exactly. That's how everyone will feel. God knows your hidden secrets and doesn't broadcast them out there. As his daughter, you should follow his footsteps. Any tips of what I should follow? Just remember your orientation guide, Colossians, the fourth book and the sixth lesson. And I quote, let your conversation be seasoned with grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Wow, what a timely lesson. I'm glad you took it well. For now, I will be forwarding these complaints to the high office for acknowledgement and expungement so that you can start on a new slate. You mean all of this could go away? I would say so. Just ask for forgiveness to those you offended. Go and sin no more. Thank you so much. How can I thank you? I just forward your gratitude to the high office. I am only a worker. Thank you so much. That's the best news of her today. Goodbye, Mrs. Mdosh, and take care.